So the previous uh, image that showed just our Earth was about 16,000 kilometers uh, uh, wide, right? So in our trip, we will uh, increase the size of the scenery by a factor of about 100 each time, right? So here we have increased uh, the, uh, the scale uh, by about a factor of 100 so that uh, uh, the, the square here is about um, uh, 1 million 500 kilometers or so across. And now on this scale, we see not only our planet, the Earth, uh, this dot here on the left, but uh, also we see our companion, the moon, um, that is revolving around the Earth about once every month. This image was actually taken from a uh, Cassini probe that was launched some 13 years ago to explore the planet Saturn. So this is how the Earth and the Moon would look uh, uh, to an observer uh, 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 who is located uh, somewhere around the planet Saturn. The distance between um, the Earth and the Moon is about 384,000 kilometers. Uh, so, when we see the moon uh, 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 at night, uh, we see it because it's reflecting the sunlight off its surface. Uh, the earth and the moon, they do not emit visible light. We see them because, or rather we see the moon and the other planets because of the light reflected by them uh, that um, uh, um, is in fact uh, uh, a light uh, illuminated by the sun. So you can ask the question, well, how long does it take the light reflected off the surface of the moon that is at a distance of about 384,000 kilometers uh, from us to reach us here on Earth? Uh, knowing that the light travels at the speed of 300,000 kilometers per second. That's the highest speed with which anything, any signal or object can travel, as Einstein's uh, special theory of relativity tells us. You cannot uh, uh, have any body or signal moving at the speed greater than uh, the speed of light. So how, knowing the speed of light and knowing the distance between the Earth and the Moon, how do we find out how long it takes light to travel that distance? Well, I'm sure all of you actually uh, know how to obtain that. For instance, if you are driving on a straight highway um, in a car and you keep steady speed of 100 uh, kilometers uh, an hour, right? How long will it take you to cover 100 kilometers? Well, the speed of 100 uh, kilometers per hour means that if you keep that speed, you will travel 100 kilometers in an hour, right? Without speeding up or slowing down. So then the time it takes you to cover the distance of 100 kilometers moving at that speed, you obtain by dividing the distance, 100 kilometers, with your speed, which is 100 uh, kilometers per hour, and you will get the answer that is one hour. So the rule is you divide the distance traveled by the speed to obtain the time of the trip. Okay, so the time of the trip uh, is then the distance between us and the moon, uh, which is 384,500 kilometers, uh, over the speed of light in a vacuum, uh, which is 300,000 kilometers per second, 
And you can see without doing any uh, uh, calculations in detail that it's just going to be over a second. You get about 1.3 seconds. So when you look at the moon, you don't see it how it is right now. And now is as given by your clock. You see it how it looked 1.28 seconds ago. Because it took that time for light to travel from the surface of the moon to uh, the Earth. And we'll find out that um, the greater the distance, the longer is this look back time. 